Welcome to another edition of the final rounds of the Micro Pistol Ammo Quest, where we're looking for the most effective 380 round that I can find that's on the market. And today's candidate is Winchester PDX-1. Now, PDX-1 was terrible in the bear gel rounds. I mean, it expanded beautifully, but it was so shallow a penetrator that it does not deserve to be in the final rounds. But it's PDX-1. I mean, it's one of the biggest brand names out there. And second of all, uh, Winchester loudly trumpets that their ammo is the duty round of choice of the FBI. Now, the FBI doesn't use 380s as duty pistols, but I still figure that, hey, seeing as my quest is to find a round that would actually hit the specifications that the FBI puts on ammo, which is that, you know, a minimum of 12 inches, maximum of 18 inches, where every round penetrates at least 12 inches through bear gel and through organic ballistic gelatin through four layers of heavy denim. I mean, that's what the FBI specifications are, and they say they're FBI duty rounds, so I figured, well, you know what, maybe the bear gel performance is lousy, but maybe it'll really pick up some penetration through the denim. So, why not? You know, when, when ammo is as prevalent and, and high profile as this, I think it deserves a fair test through both mediums. So we're going to head out to the range and see how PDX-1 does in genuine FBI caliber ballistic gelatin and four layers of heavy denim. PDX-1 penetration was awful. It's consistent, but it was awful. I, consistency is incredible, though. I got four bullets here that ended up within a quarter inch of each other. Eight and three-eighths to eight and five-eighths. Uh, I wish it had been 12 and three-eighths to 12 and five-eighths, because as it is, these are so shallow penetrating that I would not count on them for a, an effective critical hit. The fifth bullet went to 11 and three quarters, but really it doesn't count because I had terrible shot placement on that. And you can see in the video, it actually skips off the table. It was shot so low. And so that invalidates this bullet because it means that it wasn't surrounded by gel the whole time. Half of the bullet was not surrounded by gel when it was skipping out of there. And so it, it over penetrated. But given the consistency of the other four rounds, I would bet that had that shot been placed perfectly, it would also have come in right about eight and a half inches. Examining the recovered PDX-1s, let's do ourselves a favor and just get rid of this one right off the bat, because you can tell, I mean, it was hindered by the fact that it impacted with the table, so that doesn't count. But let's look at the remaining four, and these are perfect. These are what 380 bullets want to be when they grow up. They're huge, you know, 0.55 inches roughly. That's really big for a 380, and they're all fairly uniformly expanded. The denim, three of them ended up with a plug of denim in them, you know, like this little plug there, but it sure didn't slow down the expansion. I really like PDX-1 in bigger calibers, in a 45 Colt, 45 ACP. It just overexpands for the small 380, and, and because of that, it just can't penetrate. So. Not impressed with PDX-1 and 380 at all, but uh, I love the PDX-1 technology, the bonded bullet. That's all great. You just, you know, you got to go to 9mm or larger if you want to use PDX-1 and be sure that you have a proper performing defensive round. <sighs> Armslist.com for sale. Half a box of 380 PDX-1 ammo best offer or just take it for free I don't care get it out of here yeah no thanks PDX1 did not deliver the goods it it was consistent it performed mediocre in bear gel and it performed mediocre through the denim I had one round to actually reach a decent penetration but that doesn't count because it bounced off the table I was shooting and it basically spent some time traveling you know not really through the gel it was it was almost outside so that one round doesn't even count the other four are more representative they were very consistent and consistently unacceptable 
I got to have at least 12 inches up to 18 inches of penetration depth in the carry ammo that I'm going to be carrying in a 380. And this didn't hit the mark, didn't come close, didn't come within a million miles of it. You know what? I'm, I'm going to backtrack a bit. I can see a point for the PDX-1 if you were using your 380 as a belly gun. You know, it was you have your regular duty weapon or, or your regular self-defense weapon and you, and you you shoot that all and now you're, you're engaged in a hand-to-hand -hand tussle with this attacker and they're on you with a knife or whatever and it's a last resort and you're going to pull your pistol and maybe poke it right in their chest or their belly and fire. Okay, PDX-1 will do fine for that. But for regular general defensive purposes, it is nowhere near the mark. So if you only intend to use it as a belly gun, hey, buy my pdx1 i got half a box take it but um if you actually were gonna gonna occasionally carry your, your pistol and use it as the only pistol on you uh, i think you need something that penetrates a lot better than this pdx1 did thanks for watching as always i ask you to please hit subscribe and also stay tuned for new episodes they're coming up all the time and you can also head over to the blog and check out the articles that i keep posting over there shootingthebull.net thanks